Merry Christmas to uh, all the Sunvox community. Um, somebody's asked me how to do this, so um, I'll show how it's done. It's, we're setting up Sunvox to work in a similar manner to Session View in Ableton, so you can use it for you know triggering things for live performance. <coughs> um, it, one of the new modules has made this um, possible. It's quite a convoluted setup to do it, but um, the first the first step of of it is to <coughs> set up the cl the clips in, in inverted commas. So uh, um, a clip in Ableton is basically a a, a, a loop. It's either an audio <coughs> an audio loop or a MIDI loop. Excuse me. So um, to do that in Sunbox, we need to use meta modules. Now, if we want to do the equivalent of an audio loop, we'll need a meta module, and then inside the meta module, we need to put a sampler. This has to be inside the meta module because these meta modules are going to run arpeggios. Which this is how we get around it. So, to to run a, a sample loop and run it in time, we need to time stretch it. So we set up a, a pattern, and then uh, if you go and watch the um, the videos on how to do this on YouTube, you can. Um, set up this to time stretching in inverted commas again you don't really time stretch what you do is keep triggering the sample and shift through the phase of it uh, so you um, use controller 7 and then basically go from point zero in the sample through to point ff and you interpolate through so uh, this is a time stretch sample so that's just triggering once because we're inside. Um, so we have a multi synth which brings the signal in. And the arpeggio triggers the multi synth. And then in this instance, into the sampler and out. So outside of here, the meta module is set to. One here, you play patterns switched on, and then in the options, put it into arpeggiator mode. So then, if we hit it with a note, it will trigger that pattern that's inside it. So that's step one, or if we're doing MIDI, the MIDI device that's going to make the sound is outside of the meta module. So inside this meta module, this is just a random pattern. So in here, there's just a multi synth and nothing else. So meta module, if we trigger it. It's also a nice little trick this for creating uh, patterns and fills because every time due, due to where these uh, the uh, sounds are on the, on the different keys in the drum synth if I hit a different key it's going to tr trigger a, it's the same rhythmic sequence but the different set of notes essentially so it'll make a different drum pattern Step one. 